Upon his return to the wall, Thorn has been declared the acting Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He is one of the five Black Brothers to judge John for his actions during his time with the Wildlings. John hides nothing of his actions, neither his murder of Corin nor his affair with Egret. Thorn disbelieves John's claim that the Half Hand wanted to die, but John counters that if Thorn was as close to Corin as he claims, he would know the fallen brother would have done anything to protect the wall. Maester Aemon defends John on the other charge, pointing out that he isn't the first to have broken his vow of celibacy. Thorne points out that John hasn't simply visited the whorehouse in Mull's town, he has quite literally slept with the enemy. John counters with all the information that he had learned while among the wildlings, such as Mance Raider's strategy of attacking the wall from the north and the south, and demands that they either kill him or let him go. Aemon tells him that they have no intention of executing him and John leaves. Thorne reprimands Aemon for having overruled him but Aemon wryly replies that he can tell who is lying to him, since he grew up in King's Landing. Thorne is present when a young boy, Ollie, tells the Night's Watch how a wildling raiding party massacred his village. Most Black Brothers want to seek revenge and send the wildlings a message, but John and Thorne know better. That is exactly what the wildlings want, to draw them out of Castle Black and fight them in the open. The Black Brothers are interrupted by two rangers returning, Gren and Edison Tollett, who have escaped the mutineers holed up at Craster's Keep. Upon learning that the mutineers are still at Craster's Keep, John claims that they must be captured or killed. Thorne initially refuses, but John claims that it is to stop the mutineers from revealing the truth of the Night's Watch's defenses to Mance Raider's army if they are attacked, since John has previously exaggerated to Mance. Thorne has also given Sam a new derogatory nickname, Sam the Slayer, disbelieving his claim that he killed a white walker with a dragon glass dagger. Thorne later berates John when he sees him helping Gren train recruits because he is a steward, and not a ranger. Janos Slint warns Thorne that since John is popular amongst the Night's Watch, this will give him an edge over him when a new Lord Commander is elected. Slint suggests sanctioning John's expedition to Craster's Keep so the mutineers may kill John, although Thorne merely walks off after Slint's suggestion. Later on, Thorne sanctions John's mission to Craster's Keep, but tells him that he can only take volunteers with him. However, after an impassioned speech by John, a number of Black Brothers volunteer to go and deal with the mutineers. John survives the mission and returns to Castle Black unharmed, to Thorne and Slint's disappointment. When Thorne catches sight of John's direwolf, Ghost, he orders John to lock up his, wild beast, or Ghost will become food for the Watch. Later at the meeting, John warns the Night's Watch about the impending attack of Mance's army and suggests the tunnel to be sealed to prevent giants from bringing it down and exposing the wall. However, Thorne rubbishes the claim and asks the first builder, Uthel Yarwick, for his opinion. Yarwick agrees with Thorne, though he has obviously been intimidated by Thorne's tone of voice. He also sends John and Sam to keep a watch in the night to look out for Mance's army. When the Wildling army arrives, Thorne watches from atop the wall with John, noting, the biggest fire the North has ever seen, and the presence of giants and mammoths. He ruefully admits they should have sealed the tunnel as John advised. In a moment of compassion, Thorne goes on to explain the pressures and responsibilities of leadership to John, but promises him that if they fight as hard as they can, they will survive the night. After ordering the first volley of arrow attacks against the main wildling army, Thorne is called to bring reinforcements below to Castle Black, where the smaller wildling force south of the wall is attacking the lightly defended fortress. Thorne leaves command atop the wall to the inexperienced Slint, who is promptly tricked into going below as well, leaving command on the wall to John, and returns to the castle. As the wildlings begin to breach Castle Black's walls, Thorne gives an inspiring speech, promising that Castle Black and the Night's Watch will still stand at daybreak, and rallies his men, personally leading the countercharge. Thorne manages to kill several wildlings before he confronts Tormund Giant Spain on the catwalks. They duel evenly for a time, but Tormund finally manages to wound Thorne, who escapes by rolling off the catwalk and falling onto a hay bale below. The wounded Thorne is then carried to safety by two members of the Night's Watch, while screaming at the remaining men fighting to hold the gate at any cost.